Crossing the Rubicon, a journey of no return. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase that has a rich historical background and a powerful meaning in modern language, crossing the Rubicon. Stay with us to understand not only what it means, but also how you can use it in your conversations and writings. Crossing the Rubicon originates from a significant event in ancient Roman history. In 49 BC, Julius Caesar made a decisive move by crossing the Rubicon River, which was the boundary between the Roman province of Gaul and Italy itself. This act was considered an act of aggression and rebellion against the Roman Senate, as generals were forbidden to bring their armies into the Italian mainland. Caesar's crossing of the Rubicon marked the start of the civil war that ultimately led to the fall of the Roman Republic and the rise of the Roman Empire. The phrase, crossing the Rubicon, has since been used to signify a point of no return, a moment when a decisive and irreversible decision is made. In contemporary language, crossing the Rubicon is used metaphorically to describe a situation where an individual or group commits to a risky or revolutionary course of action that there is no turning back from. It's about making a bold decision whose consequences are both significant and irreversible. For example, if a person decides to quit their stable job to start their own business, they might say they are crossing the Rubicon. It signifies that they've passed a point of no return in their career path, embarking on a new journey with all its inherent risks and opportunities. Another example could be in international relations, where a country might be said to have crossed the Rubicon by taking an action that dramatically alters its relationship with another country, with no possibility of returning to the previous state of affairs. When using crossing the Rubicon, it's important to remember that this phrase carries the weight of irreversible decisions and significant change. It's not for everyday decisions, but rather for those moments that alter the course of one's life, career, or history itself. Use it to emphasize the gravity and irrevocability of an action. We hope this exploration of crossing the Rubicon has been enlightening for you. It's a phrase that not only enriches our vocabulary, but also reminds us of the moments in life that define our path forward. Remember, when you use this phrase, you're invoking the weight of history and the gravity of irreversible decisions. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to helping you learn more fascinating aspects of the English language in our future videos.